in this section, we are going to be learning how to transform our data with Power Query. The question we need to ask ourselves first is why do we need to clean and transform our data? As a matter of fact, I want you to know that in real life, data does not come clean. It always have some form of debt in it. They may be in bad shape. There may be typos in the data. There may be duplicates in the data. Data may have all sorts of problems. When the data you are working with have some of this problem, then you will not be able to analyze or come up with insight from this dirty data. You need to know that if you mine dirty data, you will get dirty insights. Now we want to learn about the Gondi rules of cleaning dirty data. What this slide is about is to teach us and to let us know what are the common issues we can see in a data that we are going to say this data is dirty and I need to fix it. Some of these rules are not all encompassing. They may be more than what I'm going to list here. But these are some of the things I've learned over the course of my career in the data space. Number one, your data may have duplicates. Therefore, you need to deal with the duplicates. When you have duplicates in your data, that is repetition. You cannot analyze the data like that. You need to remove the duplicates. Duplicates may also come in form of repeating rows or columns in the data, which means that an entry on a row is repeating itself or a column has been duplicated. In that case, you need to remove the column. You need to remove the rows because that is repetition. Deal with duplicates. That's one of the rules of cleaning dirty data. Also, there should be only be one row of headings in your data. You should not have an empty row or column in your data. Dates should be in a single column. If you have a sales data, I mean, and you have an other date, other dates, for example, should only be on a single column. You should not have one other date in a column. Then you go to another column. There is another other date. This should not be confused to having another date entirely. So you can have other dates on a column and have shipping dates on another column. That is fine. But once something is other dates, it should only be on a single column, not on different columns. Also, every unique data should have its own column. All unique data should have its own column. For example, the table I have by my right hand side there, it shows the bonus, the bonus, which is like a stipend received by John, Joe, and Abdullah. And we can see now that for 2017, we have the bonuses for 2018 and for 2019. We can see that bonus is a unique data. It should all be in a column. 2017, 2018, 2019 represents a year, like a date. They all should be in a single column. How do I need to transform this data? This data looks clean, but it is in a bad shape. I need to reshape this particular table. What I will need to do, which we are going to be learning about later, is how to unpivot this data and unpivot it to have it in a proper shape. Now, also, we need to know that a data is different from reports. There should be no total or subtotal anywhere in the data. When you are working with your data, make sure you remove total or subtotals in your report. Whenever you have total and subtotal, it changes that data to a report because a report is what contains summaries. So take notes. There should be no total or subtotals anywhere in the data. Also, you need to convert your data to appropriate data types. Your data should be in appropriate data types. So for example, which is very common, when you have a data and you have date, sometimes that date is not a date. It's going to appear like a date, but it is a text. So you need to transform, you need to change that date to a date type. This is not about a particular tool. Whether you are working with Excel, you are working with Power BI, or you are even working with Python, there are functions where you need to use to convert that date that is actually a text data type to an actual date data type. Also, you need to normalize data typos and differences. For example, if you are working with a particular data and you have country column, it may have been inputted as USA, U dot a US, all these variations of US, these one, two, three, four, five variations of United States of America, 
are all different. So your program, your tool are going to see these as five different countries, which means you need to normalize it. You need to make sure that you choose a particular spelling you want to use and you correct this spelling of United States of America so that you don't have different spellings, which actually mean the same thing. So this is just one of the several issues you can find in misspelling, in typos in your data. You need to correct it when you are cleaning data. Whenever you have a data like this, we are going to say that that data is dirty. Also, you need to undo missing values. Sometimes you have missing values in your data. When you have missing values in your data, sometimes you can continue with your anal analysis like that. Sometimes you need to make some assumptions and you do inputting. You can use predictive analysis to do inputting. You can input with the last value that you have. There are a lot of techniques and sometimes you could need to remove. It all depends on the data and the problem you are trying to solve and the level of precision that you are expecting from your work. That will determine the method you are going to use to undo missing values. These are all some of the concepts about rules of cleaning dirty data. Now we want to learn the key transformations that are very common in Power Query, which we are going to be working with in a moment. One of the very key transformations is transpose. When you transpose your data, it converts rows to columns and columns to rows. We have pivot column or pivot column. When you pivot a column, what it does is it distinct rows into columns. For example, this is how your data should be shaped, but for one reason or the other, you may need to pivot, then unpivot again because you are cleaning the data. You want it to you want it to be properly shaped. If your data is like this, when you pivot it, it's going to have this shape. Another function that we have is what we call unpivot column. It does the opposite of pivot column, which means it turns columns into rows. So when you have data like this and you want to transform it, means you want it to be in proper shape, you need to unpivot the 2017, the 2018, and the 2019 columns. So when you unpivot these columns, you are going to have what we have here. And that is that about cleaning dirty data. Now we are going to move into Power Query and we are going to learn on how to clean dirty data using Power Query. We are going to do three demos. One of our data comes from World Bank Development Indicator. We also have another data that comes from Foresight BI. Foresight BI has published some dirty data on their website, which people can download and use to practice. One of those data we are going to clean it in this video. And there is also another fictitious data which I worked on and we are going to learn how to clean. Let's get started. 